Oh no, not you again. Why are you never happy to see me? You know why. This is the split personality effect. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do it. No, we're not. I am Tomato Tomato. I've got the two clips right here on the timeline. I've got this first take for personality number one, and then I've got the second take, which is the personality in the mirror. I'm going to bring this clip up on top of the other clip and using the audio as a guide, I'm going to try and roughly time this performance so that the conversation makes sense. The most difficult part about this effect is actually timing the dialogue while you're shooting. You kind of have to play both roles in your head. With this roughly lined up, I'm going to head over to the opacity here and I'm just going to drop this halfway so that I can see both performances happening at the same time to make sure that the timing of this performance works. This is the split personality effect. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do it. No, we're not. I am Tomato Tomato. The timing works, so I can reset that opacity back to 100% and I'll adjust the timing of these clips so that they match from beginning to end. Then on this top clip, I'm going to select it, head over to my effects, and I'm going to add a draw mask effect. I'm going to draw a mask around this mirror just from corner to corner. It doesn't have to be totally perfect because we're going to feather this out slightly anyway. If I command click on the effect to deselect it, I can get rid of the red mask outline and that mask looks really clean. There is one little thing that makes this effect a little tricky in post, but also makes it more convincing if you do it on purpose. And that is if your hand moves in front of the mirror like it does here. Right now the mirror is blocking my fingers, but what I want to do is right before this hand moves in front of the mirror, I'm going to duplicate this bottom layer and I'll trim this clip using the shortcut option and the left square bracket. And I'll move forward in time to see where this finger moves over the mirror. And let's see if it does it again down here. No, so it kind of ends right about there. So I'll use option and the right square bracket to trim that. And then I can detach the audio using control shift S and I can delete that audio. Now what I want to do is move to the last frame of this effect. And with this new top clip selected, I'll hit control command M to add a magnetic mask. You can also add it here from the effects browser if you like. And I'm just going to select my hand. I'll hold down option to deselect everything else and then I'll hit analyze. The idea being that you'll have just this hand on a separate layer. It looked like it selected some of my face here. So let's reset this mask and right about here where we have this motion blur, I'll select the hand again. Again, I'll use option to remove anything that I don't want to include and I'll try analyze one more time. I'll hit done and just to quickly show you what's happening, I'll hide these two layers using the shortcut V and we just have my hand now on its own layer. Now when I play that back, that hand moves in front of the mirror. I did also notice on the reflection shot that my finger moved into the bottom corner of the frame right about there. So I'll go frame by frame to see where the finger comes in and I'll just hit option to make a copy of this top clip. I'll move a few frames forward to where I know it's disappeared from the frame. I'll hit option in the right square bracket and then control shift S to remove the audio. Now on this clip, with the draw mask selected, I'm going to adjust this mask to just include this corner here because I'm essentially just cleaning up this reflection shot and I'm just hiding that finger that comes in from the corner. If you've ever watched the movie Split, you'll know that James McAvoy was amazing in that film and he switches between personalities, each with distinct voices. So if you want to have some fun with this effect and you want to take it a step further and change your voice, you can do that with audio.com, the sponsor of this video. The problem with text-to-speech AI models is that the output won't sync with the original performance. But with audio, you can use their voices feature to transform your voice into a different voice while keeping the delivery, cadence, and turning of the original recording. It's as easy as exporting the section you want to change, uploading it to audio.com, and choosing the voice you want to change it to. There are currently 24 voices modeled after real voice actors to choose from, with more being added regularly. After just a couple of seconds, you have a new voice that you can drop onto your timeline and you can sync that up to the original voice. This is the split personality effect. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do it. No, we're not. I am Tomato Tomato. 
Voices is available on Audio's Pro Plus plan, which I'll link to down below. And be sure to use the code VOICES40 for 40% 40 off the Pro Plus plan. You'll get unlimited music, sound effects, every AI search tool, the new Voices feature, of course, and more. Now, I've obviously done my base grade on this clip, but one way you can level this up even further is to apply some additional creative grading to blend these two shots together. For this example, I'll hit option A to add an adjustment clip. I'll extend that to the duration of both of these clips. In this case, I'm going to use the Emulate plugin to add some bloom, halation, and grain. I spoke about this plugin in a previous video. I'll link to it down below, but let's turn these two effects off just to see what bloom is doing first. Bloom essentially creates a nice glow around the highlights in the shot. And for strength, I'll just set this to half and I'll adjust the threshold to find a kind of glow that I like, which looks like that. Then I'll apply halation and I'll turn the mask mode on to just adjust the threshold here. I only want to apply halation in these brightest areas and I'll just adjust the source limiter as well to something like that. I'll turn mask mode off and now you can see we have this nice halation happening here around the light. And lastly, I'll add some grain. In this case, I'm going to bump the resolution up and I'll just dial back the amount to something like that. That just helps add the mood that I'm going for for this shot. And one more time, let's have a look. This is the split personality effect. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do it. No, we're not. I am tomato tomato. If you enjoyed this video, then like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That's not what I was going to say. Oops. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you watch this effect video next, and I'll see you in the next one.